Okay, so now what we're going to do is set up a multi-controlled mechanism. So let's say, let's say the user, okay, the user would want to spin around the object to look at it. Uh, they would want to maybe make it do whatever it does, like let's say growl or bend over, idle. So all those things can be actually controlled on the keyboard. So if you showed a prospective person that is hiring you a small exe or a damage file or an app file that they click on and they can actually go in and see your video game character rendered out in a game engine and still look good. And if, if they get wind that you did that in Blender, they'll be even more apt to hire you because, you know, it's next to nearly impossible to do but we're going to do it. It's not nearly impossible. I just want to hype it up. So, you know, when we actually do it, you feel like good about yourself. You know how it goes. So what we're going to do is now work on that logic and how simple it is. All right. First off, we need a camera. So I'm going to put a camera in my side view by hitting the space bar, going to camera, add it, drag it out, and going in here and I see my x-axis right here that's my red one right there so I'm going to say R and then X and then hit 90 and then make sure you you, you don't wiggle your mouse at all or it won't work R X 90 there we go I got a wireless mouse so it's uber sensitive Okay, so now that I have that, what I can do is go into here and go into 3D view and then pick that as my camera. So I want to kind of set this camera up so it's got a good field of vision on my character. Okay, so what we're going to do here is make sure, let's say the object if you have a big troll with a big huge kind of chain around it make sure you're you're notice this i have my pivot point dead in the center of my object now you can actually move your pivot point anywhere you feel and how you do that is let me get back to my cursor land ah, oh i did it I changed my mouse orientation this morning. Okay, now it is control. Okay, so control, left click. And that's what it should be by default. So what I do here is, let's say I want this object to have a center point right here. Okay, so I can control, left mouse click here. And then I go in to this menu, and then this menu and highlight my object and go center cursor there we go so now this has a new center remember to do that in your side view though okay now when this object rotates around it'll be all better to look at another thing let's set up a ground plane so I'm going to do that in this view and I'm going to hit my spacebar and add a mesh plane and size that up by going S on the keyboard and scale it up. Lo and behold, what appears but a dynamic shadow? That's right. Yes, that is a dynamic shadow, and that means anytime you see this thing move, the shadow will move. Isn't that swift? All right, so what else do we need for this perfect world to exist? Okay, let's look at the, the camera itself. The camera needs to have a script. And here's where we start logically writing scripts. And I say logically because in an illogical world, we're going to be doing that by coding, and I don't know how to code. So here, we got this camera and what I want it to do is act as a camera so here in my Pac-Man under logic 
I can say my camera will always be a camera, okay, because this is a sensor. It just tells what it needs to do as far as a sensor is if I use my keyboard is a sensor. If I'm using an all the time event, that's a sensor, like this is always. And you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff like collision. So if I touch the object with another object, it does something. If I have something get near it, something happens. So you get the idea right here. And joystick either. Look at that. I heard even somebody actually hooked up a Wii remote to this, which would be a pretty sweet little project. Okay, so here, let's click and drag these two together. Now, controller. Controller is this. So, always doing something. Only when it's always so. So, I'll show you more about the controller once we get into the keyboard. It, it's a little easier to understand. Camera. Will be a camera. Okay? And then I can connect these two together. Okay, now the height. Now the height can stay the way it is, but here's the minimum and maximum distance. Okay, now I'm going to use 10 and 15 with the idea that I can change that at any one time. Okay, so what happens here, if I hit P on the keyboard, nothing will happen. Okay, escape. I have to find a name for him. His name is under here. OB is Wolf. And you can type anything that you want here. But when you go back to your camera and then go back to your logic, you type that name here. And it is case sensitive. Okay, watch what happens. P on the keyboard. And then it becomes centered perfectly on the character. Very, very nice. Okay, so now, uh, in the next video, I kind of set up some logic so that the world spins, and when the world spins, he spins, and we can kind of get an idea of, you know, what all sides of him is going to look like. Maybe even the ability to zoom in and zoom out. Okay, so that's in the next video.